morning, good afternoon, good evening. Don't know where you're listening from around the world. We've had a great five days of EC Council, CISO Forum Canada, powered by CyberX on the Cyber Exchange platform. I wanted to uh, thank our advisory board made up of uh, public, private sector from across Canada. Thank you very much. I also want to thank our sponsors, Darktrace, IBM, Huawei, uh, CrowdStrike, VMware, Carbon Black, uh, for your support. I also want to thank our, our partners for, for supporting us and our great uh, guest speakers throughout the event. Without further ado, uh, I would like to get into our award ceremony. I know it's a Friday evening for a lot of people, so we're going to try to be as efficient and effective as possible right off the bat for our CCSO of the year. Uh, uh, Matt is the Deputy Chief Technology Officer for Shared Services Canada. He is a well-respected visionary who possesses outstanding business and financial acumen coupled with an excellent un of understanding of how to leverage technology to achieve corporate goals and objectives while managing digital risk. He also understands the importance of proper governance and oversight. Matt has a rich background in digital transformation and cybersecurity. In his previous role, he led Sina's global IT risk management and cybersecurity team. Matt currently serves as the, uh, on the uh, Hydro Ottawa and the University of Ottawa Heart Institute Foundation boards. Matt is the graduate of the University of Ottawa and has completed an executive education program at the Tuck School of Business and the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. The CCSO of the year for 2020 goes to Deputy CTO of Shared Services Canada, Matt Davies. Matt, just wanted to say hello, thank you, uh, and if you have a few words that you'd like to share. Yeah, first, uh, listen, thanks for the award. Um, it's always, uh, always great to get acknowledgement uh, by your peers. I also want to thank the EC Council and the individuals responsible for the 2020 CISO Forum Canada. Um, I, the C certified CISO program that I undertook was an outstanding program. And I, like many of the other EC Council programs, provides a great opportunity for continued education and development of cybersecurity and risk management talent around the world. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Matt, very much. Uh, we don't have no champagne. We don't have any uh, you know, fireworks or anything like that, but we'll definitely be sending you out your certificate by mail. And uh, thank you again for your time. Thank you. M moving on, you're welcome. Moving on to women in leadership. She is one of Canada's top women in cybersecurity. She was recognized for her work in spearheading security initiatives in Canada involving cyber threat, uh, the cyber threat landscape. She has spent over 20 years of uh, dedication in reshaping the telecommunication industry and for being a driving force in empowering women globally to enter the cybersecurity industry. We could not be prouder of what she has accomplished thus far in cybersecurity, risk assessment of modern mobile networks, artificial intelligence, and developing comprehensive privacy protection frameworks. She's a frequent speaker at events around the globe and across Canada, as well as being actively engaged as a mentor with a number of post-secondary programs. She has attended the University of Belgrade where she earned uh, her master's in the School of Electrical Engineering. The Women in Leadership for 2020 goes to Huawei Canada's Chief Security Officer, Olivera Zatezalo. Olivera, welcome. Thank you, Maddie, and thank you for this award. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to thank CyberX and eCouncil. You're doing an amazing work. I love coming to these events. You're really building a great community. So thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for your support and thank you for all that you have done. Every once in a while I speak to people that you've connected with and they'll message me back and they'll say thank you for giving us an opportunity and a platform to connect with Oliveira. And, and it's funny, the excitement you'll see in a lot of the, the students or those that are in the junior roles looking for leaders and role leaders in cyber, uh, cybersecurity. Uh, one of the things that we are announcing uh, over the next couple of days is our Canadian Women in Cybersecurity, which will be held from March 8th to the 12th, 2021. Hopefully, it'll be in a physical location. If not, it'll be our virtual in our virtual cybersecurity studio. Uh, moving on. 
to our CISO of the year. Uh, Mike is an experienced cybersecurity leader and technology advisor who is the current CISO of Life Labs Medical Laboratory Services. Mike is a well respected for his security thought leadership, risk analysis, management abilities, technical knowledge, problem solving skills, and sound decision making capabilities. Mike enjoys mentoring CISOs, CIOs, and senior executives to further develop the alignment of security programs and business outcome. Mike is part of the Toronto Avanta CISO governing body and contributes in a leadership capacity at quarterly gatherings, including to, uh, talking panels, individual presentations, etc. Mike presents talks and participates at various security industry meetups and conferences such as C3X, Sheridan College Information Security Forum, TAS, various CISO advisory boards, Secure CISO, Sector, Black Hat, RSA, and CyberX. Mello or Mike was recently published in Toggle Magazine's Fall Edition 2020, recognizing uh, leadership and capabilities in the cybersecurity industry. He's got a really cool quote on his LinkedIn that I saw today, which really um, hit me. Uh, Judge a man by his questions rather than by his answers. Your 2020 CISO of the Year is none other than Chief Information Security Officer, Mike Mello. Mike, thank you. Hey, Maddie. Um, thanks, and you know, thank you for this honor. Um, you know, it's a, it's, it's a privilege that I that I have been recognized for this award. Um, you want to thank EC Council, CyberX, all the sponsors, uh, my CISO community, and colleagues. Uh, you know, it, it's definitely. Um, a very competitive area. Uh, you know, there's a lot of really great people in the CISO space. Uh, just really privileged and honored to be the CISO of the year. So thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you, Mike. Looking forward to a whole bunch of really cool things in 2021. Last but not least, uh, a man that uh, I've considered as a mentor, I, every time I hear him, I really you know, take notes. And uh, he has led teams developed award-winning security programs, implemented cutting-edge technology, all of which have been challenging, fun, and helped him broaden his experience in so many ways. He has participated at global events such as CyberTech uh, Tel Aviv, Gartner's Security and Risk Management Summit, Information Security Forums, World Congress, the SC Congress, AltSecCon, through various membership and editorial boards. His specialties are governance, oversight, and creation of technology risk programs. Uh, now, during the years of 2003 and 2007, he was at Bell. He developed appropriate policies as required in conformance with ISO 27001. He was also a CISO at the Government of New Brunswick between the years of 2011 and 2015. Uh, most recently, he was a CISO at MB Power. He is currently serves as an Enterprise Information Security Officer at WorkSafe NB. Now, if I went through his honors, his awards, his volunteering, and his publication, we'd probably be here for another five days and we would have to put on another forum called the Jamie Reese CISO Forum. So I'm going to sum it up in three, well, actually, yeah, four words. He's a security leader, he's a thinker, and he's a speaker. You know, last year at our Canadian, well, actually this year at our Canadian Women in Cybersecurity, we gave a Lifetime Achievement Award to Dr. Ann Kavukian. So when we give these out, this is a this is one of those very personal awards. Our 2020 Lifetime Achievement Award goes to the man, the myth, the legend, Jamie Reese. Thanks, Maddie. I, I don't even know how to follow up on something like that. That's uh, that's incredible. Um, I, I just maybe share two anecdotes. One for personally, when you when you hear those things, and I, and I think back about all of all of the stuff that I've been lucky to be involved in, it's it's not. It, I mean, it sounds great, and I'm happy that you that you took the time to read it all. But to me, it's always been my only superpower was just showing up, and I see that throughout all of the the folks on the panel here now the other award receivers i see it on the in the content and the speakers at cyberx i feel it in the hallways when we're lucky enough to be together physically and, and see each other um that's really all that was 
the power of just showing up uh, when somebody needs help. And and the other anecdote I'll share is the moment that I kind of figured that out. Uh, I was sitting in a car in the mall parking lot, and, and a mother of a student called me, and and thanked me for the help that I had given to her son, and she said, "You'll be blessed for doing this." And it really it, it struck me quite strongly at that moment that, and and I expressed my thanks to her for that, but I also expressed you know, this revelation I had in the moment that I was already blessed because I had been put in the place to help other people. And really, I think, again, all of us are there in some way. It doesn't have to be money. We're not all rich uh, in that sense, but we have time and we have knowledge and we have things to share. And I think anybody, uh, you know, there's there's probably thousand other people uh, in Canada that could have this award or, or, you know, win next year's because they're out there helping powerful always a powerful statement you make uh, just showing up I think you mentioned that a couple of times uh, through other people that have you spoken to because over the last year I've had the opportunity to speak to a lot of students or people that have interacted with you and they've talked about the mentorship and the advice that you've given them just in a hallway at uh, you know anywhere within the environment at, at conferences when they used to exist and you just giving them that one liner or two liner that really has that ripple effect that changes people uh, and for, for years to come. So thank you, Jamie, again for your, for your time, for your support, and for showing up. Thank you. Moving into second gear, we are um, honored and privileged to hold our intercontinental CISO forum during the periods of November 13th to the 19th. 2020, uh, we will have great continents like Africa, Middle East, Asia, Latin America, and the Caribbean next week. What's really cool about this event is we have CISOs, CTOs, and CIOs that will be live at their respective times. Uh, yes, that means that we here, the CyberX team, will be working in the night uh, and sleeping during the day. So it'll be really, really fun. We're gonna hope that, um, that there's still pizza around at four or five o'clock in the morning. And uh, we look forward to having you attend and participate and be a part of Intercontinental CISO Forum. I wanna, make a sp I wanna take this uh, moment here and, and especially thank two individuals. Uh, first of all, Farouk for leading the advisory board and a special, special thanks to Ali Herji from Durham College for his uh, unwavering support and, and his long hours of just being there in terms of helping out and, and, and make pushing this along. In addition to that, the volunteers at CyberX along with the staff, a uh, special thanks to Jordan as well for, for all of his work and Shrey. Anything else? No, there isn't. Uh, it's been a pleasure. It's been a great uh, five days. Thank you very much for your time and we are cyber.